get ready with me while I talk about how I became Rika. If you're new here, hi, my name is Rika. I am a proud trans woman. My pronouns are she and her. Just a side note, I want to remind everyone to never ask or use a trans person's dead name without their express approval or permission. I was actually named after my grandfather and father, which is why my name is Ricardo III and my nickname is Josh. It's so weird because I don't have a Josh sa name. Ko. But then, that's quite normal in my family. We see my dad's name is Ricardo, but his nickname is Jojo. My mom naman is Annalisa, but her nickname is Jing. And when I asked my mom about it, she doesn't really have an explanation. Parang the most that I got was the friend of my brother was named Josh and I was named after that person. By the way, we're all J's in the family. My sister is Janina, my brother is Joseph, and I'm Josh. But that's about to change because I became Rika. So how did I become Rika? When I was prep in Ateneo, I remember my teacher asking me for my nickname. And for some stupid reason, I didn't know what a nickname was. So when I asked what the nickname was, she said that it was a name that you prefer people to call you. And believe it or not, I said Carla. I don't really remember her reaction, but she just simply said that that wasn't my nickname. She read the class list and found out that my name was Ricardo, and because of that, she just called me Ricardo in class. And all throughout grade school, I just went with that name. And I don't know why I never bothered to change my nickname. I guess because everyone just knew me as Ricardo and it just stuck. The name Rika actually came later around grade 7 because it was actually coined by my classmates. They said that the name Ricardo didn't really suit me because I was very effeminate back then. And I actually liked it. Ever since then, I never really had problems with people addressing me as Rika. I'm super grateful that my classmates and my teachers were very supportive. Well, I mean, some of my teachers were. Right now, only my parents are the ones who call me Josh, but it's okay because I gave them the access and the right to do so. I appreciate my parents so much though because every time we're outside or they introduce me to other people, they always refer to me as Rika and they only started doing that on their own volition. The name Rika in Spanish means rich or delicious and I think vitamin. <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, the meaning behind Rika means ruler. Brave ruler or protector. A person that can face anything that life throws at them. Which I think is very apt growing up as a trans woman. So why is our chosen name so important? Well, for some trans people such as myself, our dead names can cause a lot of anxiety and gender dysphoria because it does not resonate or reflect who we are. I chose the name Rika because I think it still honors the birth name that I have because I do not hate the fact that I was born transgender. I don't want to put my past in a box and never look back because I think my journey to becoming Rika is beautiful. For the people watching, I hope if you know any trans person, you would address and respect their chosen names because to some of us, it carries so much meaning. That is it for today's video. Okay, thanks. Bye!